our mission is to help you learn the English language. We have created easy to follow free educational materials for those seeking knowledge of English. Today people are hearing about information superhighways and the internet. Is this change going to be beneficial for the individuals like you and me? Yes, I think so. My friend once used it mostly to play chess, but now he has learned how to do other things on the internet. There's no doubt the internet will be a powerful commercial medium. It'll connect hundreds of millions of customers and open up huge markets for all kinds of products and services. That's true. I can imagine companies sending advertisements directly to customers over the net. Customers, in turn, can examine and compare whatever goods they want to buy and tell their computers to find them at the best price offered. Yeah, it'll be a shopper's heaven. That's the use of net in e-commerce. I want to improve my handwriting, and I've practiced it for several weeks, but nothing happened. You see, my handwriting is still bad. Oh, come on. You know it's a long process. You have to be patient. I know it, but I don't know when I can make it better. A. Whatever you do, the most important is perseverance. So you have to hang on there. The longer, the better. Then someday, you will find you've already made a lot of progress. Yeah, you are right. I must stop complaining and stick to it every day. Yeah, where there is a will, there is a way. Are there any interesting stories in the newspaper today? There are a few stories about natural disasters. There is a massive forest fire in Australia. It covers several square kilometers of land, has destroyed many more square kilometers. Was it caused accidentally or naturally? Sometimes it gets so hot that fires begin naturally in Australia and Africa. Nobody knows at the moment, but it has been very hot there recently. The drought in Africa is causing starvation. Millions of people have migrated to try and find food. What is the international community doing to help? The European Union has sent several plants with relief supplies. Several countries have sent soldiers to distribute food and medical supplies. Refugee camps have been set up across the region. How many countries have been affected? Six have been seriously affected, but the refugees are also migrating to several surrounding countries. I saw on the TV yesterday that there has been another earthquake in Iran. Yes, there have been a few there recently. They say that this one was not a big quake. The Iranians are dealing with it on their own. They have purchased some special equipment to find people buried you. Does the newspaper say anything about casualties? So far, less than 20 people have died, but over 100 are in hospital. So, Paula, where are you from? I'm from Canada, originally. From Canada? Where were you born? Montreal. When did you come to Los Angeles? We moved here when I was 14. Did you go to school here? Well, I went to high school here, but I went to college in Texas. Did you get a job right after graduation? No, I traveled for a while in Europe after college, and then I lived in France. When was that? Let's see that was about six years ago. I bet that was interesting. What did you do there? I studied French. Anyway that's enough about me. How about you?
Were you born in LA? I enjoyed talking to you. I enjoyed talking to you too. We should hang out some time. I think that would be nice. Is there anything you would like to do next time? Do you want to go out to eat? I'd like that. So I'll see you next time. I'm going to call you soon. I'll talk to you later. See you soon. Goodbye. Speaking of classical music, we should never forget about the New Year's concert of the Vienna Philharmonic. Of course not. People all over the world watch it on TV, or listen to it on the radio. Sure. It's one of the biggest classical music events. Have you ever been to the live show? Yes, I went to the New Year's concert in 2010. Wow, you're so lucky. I saw it on TV. But it must be so different to be there in the concert hall. That's for sure. You know, I had the greatest time ever. I think Andy's party will be fun. Yeah, I think so. Oh, by the way, I need to ask you something. What's that? Could I get back the sweater you borrowed? Sure. Oh, that reminds me. Could I borrow your black leather boots? My boots? Er, sure. Okay. Is there a lot of crime in your city? There's some, but I don't think it's a big problem. A lot of it is petty crime, burglary and car theft. There's very little major crime. It's the same in my city. We also have a lot of drug addicts. A lot of the crime is committed by drug addicts who need money for drugs. That happens in many places. In my city, there is a very good drug rehabilitation program. The police and courts are also tough on people who commit crimes, but I don't know if that's the reason for our relatively low crime rate. Some people believe that a tough approach is better. Other prefer a more lenient approach. I think that the best way to reduce crime is to spread wealth more evenly. If most people have similar amounts of money, they will not think of stealing from others. That's possible, but I'm not sure it would really happen like that. Hi, Mary. I haven't seen you in ages. I heard that you and Daniel are getting married on August 8, the opening day of the 2008 Olympic Games. Is it true? Yes, it is. We've been dating for over seven years. We have decided to get married on a special day and we think August 8, 2008 as a red-letter day. Good for you. It sounds like you've done a lot of planning in a very short time. Yes, there is a lot of to be taken care of. Wedding photos, wedding dress, catering, transport, hotel, etc. Is everything ready now? Almost. The only thing that isn't ready is the hotel. As a lot of people have chosen that day to get married, it is hard to find a hotel that isn't too expensive. Have you tried the Peninsula Palace Beijing? My wedding reception was held there and they did an excellent job. Yes, we called, but it is booked up. The only choice is the Regent Beijing but we haven't made up our minds yet. It's an excellent hotel. A friend of mine had her wedding reception there and said it was perfect, though very expensive. That's why we want to have a look at other hotels. We don't want to spend too much on an extravagant wedding reception. I guess you're right. I can help you ask other hotels. I am sure there are probably some available.
Thank you. My pleasure. What do you do in your free time, Nancy? Well, I like playing the violin. Really? How long have you been playing the violin? About 10 years so far. I started learning when I was in middle school. That's really interesting. Sure. So what about you? Do you have any hobbies? Well, I like collecting matchbox. I'm not sure if that counts, though. Of course it does. Everybody has his own hobby. Hi, Betty. Where's your boyfriend? I have no idea. Could you tell me the time? Pardon? What time is it, please? It's 9.30. How long will it take us to drive to London? I think it's a distance of 180 kilometers from here to London, so it should be a two-hour drive on the motorway. That's unless there is a traffic jam. It could take three hours. You're right. We will be able to travel at high speeds at the beginning and end of the journey, because we will be in built-up area. So, shall we allow three hours to cover the distance? Okay, you haven't seen my company car, have you? No, let me take a look it's longer than my car. I think it's over 5 meters long. I can't remember exactly. It has a maximum speed of over 200 kilometers an hour. Wow, that's fast. I don't think we will be traveling that fast on the motorway. We can't. If we went that fast, we would break the speed limit. Hey Steve, when's the next time you're going to play golf? I'm going out this Saturday. Do you already have a foursome? Unfortunately, we do. Let's plan for something together for Wednesday. We can go right after work. That sounds good. Where do you want to play? We won't have much time, so let's play somewhere close to work. How about Bellevue? It's pretty close. How much does it cost over there? Twilight rates are $21. That's pretty good. Let's do it. All right. I'll get a tea time for Wednesday at about 4. Make it 4. Okay. I'll call you later when I get a tea time. Sounds good. I'll see you on Wednesday then. All right. Have fun on Saturday. Will do. Should I ask Sarah to the party? I would if I were you. Our mission is to help you learn the English language. We have created easy to follow free educational materials for those seeking knowledge of English.